first glance, it looks like a photo of a handbag. But a closer look reveals the fine structure. In reality, the photograph is a paper cutout. Stefan Thiel produces his pieces snip by snip. It's a painstaking technique. I work with optical illusions, obviously, that's an integral part of it. I work with photographs, which I then turn into a paper cutout. In the first step, he photographs each object and makes slides of them. Then he projects the slides onto a piece of paper. Next, he traces the outlines. A work can take him between two hours and a month, depending on its size and level of detail. Finally, he takes out his scalpel. This part of his method is confusing for many people. For most people, that calls up memories of their childhood, when they learned how to make stars for window decorations in elementary school. But when they see my work, they realize that this technique is being used quite differently from what they're familiar with. Not just as decoration, but as art. The Berlin artist gets his inspiration from everything around him. At the moment, he's focusing on the theme of consumerism. He gets his ideas right off the street, especially Kurfürstendamm, one of the main shopping boulevards in the German capital. I choose subjects that correspond to my work, decorative objects, things with reflections. It usually depends on the surfaces of the objects. They're usually decorative mirroring surfaces, like we saw earlier in the piece with the handbag. Thiel's works have been shown in galleries around the world, in Zurich, Los Angeles, Sydney. He's been doing paper cutouts for 10 years. At first, he focused on landscapes. But no matter what the subject, what counts is his eye for detail and his patience. In an earlier work, he translated a French novel into Braille. The project encompassed 25 volumes and took four years. He's still a perfectionist when it comes to his work. He labors over every detail and finally joins the pieces together in a carefully composed puzzle. Geometric shapes have always fascinated him. What I always do in my paper cuts is I cut open the surface of the picture. I destroy it and basically reach into the space behind it. That's why I find these camouflage nets so interesting, because they're essentially cut open walls. Stefan Thiel's work has met with critical acclaim the world over. His paper cutouts fetch up to 40,000 euros on the art market. Later this month, a new show of his shadow play silhouettes is set to open in Sydney.